So, hey guys, Chauso here, and this is going to be my final run against Treasure Map Bonnie. And as you see, I'm rank 7, pretty good, did not expect that. And I've not played that much, like the nav level does not tell the full picture. This is actually my 200th run, this treasure map. So, yeah, I've got some good nav increases from the treasure cards. So yeah, it's a bonus map, so let's jump into it. So yeah. I had no plans of getting a top 10. Uh, when I did some research, this is apparently my 10th top 10 ever in Treasure Map. I had a period of like half a year when I got like five of them. But after that, like nowadays, I just get one or two per year. So getting one in February already is a bit of a surprise. But yeah, uh, basically, it's a combination of different factors uh, one factor is the fact that uh, not many pulled for the legends Lilith and Bonnie and a lot didn't pull for the trash map boosters either since they weren't the best uh, another factor uh, is the fact that these trash map bosses were pretty hard to do a very high boost team without having the full batch, including the end of month legends. So, me who had everything got a lot bigger advantage than I normally will get. Like, normally, like with my performance here, I'd be behind quite a few people who maybe only had a TM batch, but not end of month legends but the lack of those end of month legends meant they had to sacrifice a lot of points and run a end of month legend as friend capped and stuff like that so another thing is of course that with all batch you can abuse the trash map card system a lot to get as many extra nav levels as i've had even if i'm also told that my luck <laughs> is a bit higher than most people like the Korean stay who is in top 3 has not had as good, good luck. I have to restart. <laughs> this is not the first time I made this mistake. Uh, basically, that's one of those annoying things when you go by muscle memory. Like, in both the intrusion and the final boss, I start both with using Sanji, but for the intrusion after that I use Spawny, in the final boss I use Nami, so sometimes the wires <laughs> don't work out in my brain. So, like when I see the chopper support failing, I'll, I realize that, okay, that was the wrong uh, order of specials. Uh, not a big deal, like I have to reset for friend captains from time to time anyway. First time I had to reset one of my treasure map recordings though. And yeah, I do use Bonnie's kit here on uh, stage 2. Gives me enough damage, otherwise damage wouldn't have lasted this long. And yeah, you might say I use Sanya's friend captain here, and it's because we need something to help remove the bind the next stage, and support didn't cut it, so yeah. Had to be Sanji. Another approach could have been to try and remove the paralysis with another unit last stage, but that also just didn't work out, sadly. But yeah, it's not a big deal. And yeah, the damage for this will have lasted for quite a bit more time. Uh, I still kill with Jinbei here, so. Pretty good damage. If you wonder why the damage spikes so much at the end there with Jinbei's attack, it's because the final hit uh, taps on Bonnie, who has recovery orb, so she applies the weakness thing on the enemy, which means her uh, conditional boost proc, so Jinbei basically more than doubles his damage on the very last tap of his combo chain. Okay. I hope this works, then I will get... I will have gotten a lot down. 
the other cards are not worth using the fourth i will save for the gold card so pray for a five that's the base case best case here but okay uh, in this situation you pray for a uh, four four is the best here one is okay and now we are we sh as long as we don't get a four or a five we're guaranteed to get at least two cards here okay that's acceptable okay let's see if we can get a nav race by 50 percent luck or as can you imagine 50 50 uh, it has been good recently i had a bit of a bad spell spell before okay that becomes a two okay well it'd be nice to have that card a bit earlier but it is what it is oh we get the bonus card okay a gun not particularly useful Okay, Brook. Been using an ace team here. I can't showcase it properly since it's level one on the map, but I've been overkilling it pretty easily. It's a pretty funny team. It's built around Shinobu and Raizo one it KOing basically since Shinobu Raizo is slasher and shooter, so gets all of the buffs from the team in one unit and that's enough to overkill but we get quite a lot of damage with this team final stage like we have the ace conditional we have increased damage taken from white beard shame boundary from white beard and then roger Noden has attack boost and we also have a support for call affinity for shooters in luchi so yeah all of those buffs are just poured into shinobu and raizo but they on level 1, it doesn't matter because we used Roger and Odor special final stage and we just kill. <laughs> Not much more to say. But yeah, it does feel pretty good to get a top 10, especially when it's so unexpected. Like after three days, I hadn't even done 100 runs. And as you hear, this is my 200th run. So like, it feels like a treasure map from years ago when you could play this little and get top 10, like a 2021 treasure map or something. Oh, we can get the other one maybe if it procs. You want force for the normal bonus map for this situation since you can guarantee getting potentially two gold cards sadly i didn't get anything good from them but what can you do but yeah this trash map has been pretty dead in general which is not unheard of for like these filler trash maps between big events but it's still the lowest i've ever heard of players is like 8600 players in new world very low and yeah i said main bosses are a bit annoying i guess maybe some people have went for lower levels but yeah my recommendation is you should always try New world, there's always going to be something you can figure out. Might end up having to play a bit more, but it's worth it in the end. But yeah, I know not everybody has the time to spend on Treasure Map. And yeah, it's everybody's own choice, of course. See here, using Goku on Queen. Queen Captain action to ignore the fancy effect. Special for color affinity. And then just get a chain lock and kill. Very easy. See, I'm pretty happy with my teams. I don't think they are like perfect or anything, but they do the job. I don't really expect anything more than that. Yeah, the cool thing with most of them, not that queen team though, but like this Cairo team and then the team against... Uh, 
Jinbei after this, they both will have lasted basically forever, which is pretty good. So yeah, as I've been talking a lot before, like, I did uh, underestimate the Super Sugo Kaido here. For other content, especially Treasure Map, he's an amazing Treasure Map unit. Especially against Ruai, because no other unit can do nearly as much burn damage as Kaido. And burn is a great way to handle revive, especially if the revive is not too big. Because Kaido applies the highest burn in the game, and not only that, Kaido also can inflict increased damage taken through full immunity. And yeah, increased damage taken increases the damage from burn, so yeah. As you can imagine, that's a pretty amazing combo for killing revives, which is the only reason I'm using Kaido here. Like, an add added bonus is of course that we do incredible damage here with just with just these buffs, like Big Mom is the only unit boosted here that does any damage, but she does so much damage that, like, if I try and add some color affinity here by using King later or something, yeah, it's definitely lasting forever, like level 999 or, so or such. So, pretty cool. Uh, next team, also very safe. Damage wise, but yeah, I'm using the end of month batch as recommended, so it makes sense then. Even with that, it's a bit annoying, but I'm happy I could use that trash map black be able to level limit break. It's a shame he wasn't boosted this month, like, I feel he should have been boosted since he got level limit break. I think that's what they've done in the past, so not sure why they didn't do it this time. So yeah, kill with Anil here. Fuji is pretty funny. Uh, this is not a guaranteed kill. Like with the bird boost, it's a guaranteed kill on the turtles. But if I don't have bird boost, he won't kill unless he has Enrage activated, which Anil activates with the special. Which is a fun, obscure thing I noticed because Sometimes Fuji didn't kill the turtles, and I was like, what is going on? Why isn't Fuji killing? But then I realized, okay, he doesn't kill when I get the secret stage, so I progress the stage to automatically. Why is that? What changes because of that? And yeah, I realized why, but yeah, it's a pretty funny, obscure scenario. But yeah, Blackbeard, really good combo with Bonnie here, removes the damage notification. Gives us the attack and ore boost. If I needed more damage, could add some call off in it to support, of course. But yeah, that's a big overcooked kill. Even here, close to level 400. Okay, final boss. And yeah, for this one, we can actually use the full boost. So we take that, for sure. And yeah, I feel like this one takes a bit more time than the intrusion. You have to use a bit more specials and such. But yeah, this was also a lot easier to build for. Intrusion took a bit of time to get right, but yeah, I basically not had to change this team much at all. One thing I did was give the pudding support to Sanji. It's just a lot better to use Sanji right away. Since this means we can keep his attack boost for next stage. And together with the Nami special, we can actually buff this attack boost to a good amount. So this means when we use the Bonnie special final stage, we will have quite a good attack boost left from Sanji. Which just means we get more damage overall. Otherwise, without attack boost, we just get like a 1.1 times attack boost when we enter final stage. And that would be nothing, of course, but the current attack boost is 2.5 times. So it means that after we use Lilith special, we get an extra 1.5 times attack boost that we then can stack with Lilith's own attack boost from her super claws. And yeah, croc support is amazing here to avoid the chain down mechanic. Uh, without it, this boss will have been a lot more annoying. 
I will have had to save Sandy for this stage and now I will have will have had damage problem for the earlier stage instead so but yeah the damage here still very good stage 2 damage will be a problem for stage 3 for sure but I'm sure the damage will have lasted to like level 500 or such before I had to change friend captain okay not bad, not bad. Let's check the ranking before I end the video. So yeah, as you see, it's a comfortable top 10. <laughs> Did not expect that, but I am happy, of course. Competing a bit with Wannis, maybe I'll try and overtake him, but I'm not getting top 5 at least, which will have been cool. And we got 3 Koreans in the top 3. So GG's to you and GG's to me as well. I'm actually feeling a bit sick, so I'm going to take it a bit easy the rest of the day now. And I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow, I guess. So yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.